here welcome to this radio video and um, I wanted to talk today about SDRs or software defined radios and the reason I want to talk about it is um, the fact that I do get a lot of comments I received a lot of emails of people saying you shouldn't post videos of SDR receivers it's not in it's not shortwave radio um, and um, others that say well that's cool you know you, it's nice to have a software defined radio and um, I thought I'd give my own little opinion on it and I you know this is my opinion everybody's allowed its own opinion um, some people you know think of shortwave as a big radio with a dial button where you just tune around it has an antenna and it receives on its own and that's real shortwave and you know it's okay if you think like that just don't buy a SDR just don't buy a software defined radio and never use your computer with your shortwave listening and it's okay and it's fine and I understand part of it you know I am a radio guy I love old receivers I love you know 70s radios and 80s radios listening to shortwave with those is just great I'm also a technological guy. I am a computer guy for my work. It means that for anybody that loves computers, an SDR is nice because, first of all, it brings together two things somebody can love. Shortwave radio and computers. It's a little bit like, you know, digital modes, same thing. It has a fun thing, digital modes brings computers and radios together and that's fun. Where I think people that tell me, well that's not shortwave radio, that's where I'm not um, really uh, happy with that type of thinking. And the reason why is because an SDR first of all, because some of you have actually bad information. I'll give you an example of this SDR is the one that I'm using right now. It's the Soft 66 RTL 2. First of all, a lot of you think an SDR is internet based. This is not internet based. This is a radio. And that's why, first of all, I think people that think this is not shortwave are wrong, as this is a radio. This is a shortwave radio. It's actually a very wide band receiver. It is missing one important thing. All the controls. And that's where the computer comes in. Computer has the controls. And that's the front part of the radio, if you say. You know, when you have a big tabletop like my ICOM 8500, basically, it's a radio like this but bigger with more parts but still pretty much does the same thing as this thing a radio but the hardware the electronics have the front end where you have a display with LCD or you know LEDs or if you have an analog style radio then it's a needle in a dial so, you know, I don't understand why you can't say this is a shortwave radio, because it is. It's just that it needs a computer to help it. It's with the computer that you can actually tune the frequencies and the signals that you want to hear. So, that's a software-defined radio. It's a radio. It has antenna inputs. If you look at the bottom here, it says HF on that connector. This is an antenna input like on a radio. This goes to my long wire outdoors in the backyard. So it's a radio, it receives signals. And the circuitry here is the radio receiving circuitry. The only thing it uses that mini USB here that you see on top to plug it to a computer where you get finally this front panel if you want that controls it. That's where you'll tune the frequency range, but it has added bonuses compared to a good old radio. And that's why a lot of people 
are jumping on a bandwagon of software defined radios it's because on some signals there's always if you've seen some of the videos that I posted on the top here you have a waterfall where you see actual really wide bands you know um, you see a very large frequency range in real time so for example if I zoom in here on um, actually the spectrum I think is zoomed in so here you see that from 14 nine seven six here on the left all the way to fifteen zero twelve I would see here all of the signals in between but while I'm tuning a specific band so it's very flexible for that because you can visualize all the signals around you that's one very cool thing about an SDR receiver you see everything around you in real time and that's cool because you can just click and see what's that signal that just popped up uh, on the visual here. Another thing that you uh, have is the flexibility in all the types of filters. You've got selectivity and audio filters that you can play with, RF gain you can play with. It's so flexible in fact that you can actually improve a signal to a point where even a regular shortwave radio will not be able to do so because this has more think of a radio with 300 buttons on it that you can really set pretty much everything that would be more of an equivalent of all the things you can set with a software defined radio it would be a huge radio with 300 little buttons all tweaking a little something inside a, a radio actually from you know audio filters RF filter selectivity sensitivity um, you know all sorts of uh, signal tweaking where you can actually play around remove stuff with a notch filter for example here remove a tone it's just so flexible that a software defined radio is fantastic at you know just analyzing and fixing up signals so that they are even heard better basically so you know the basics that I want to see here is that it's still a radio and that's why I think it is a radio um, I would probably put more the categories in uh, people that like old style shortwave radio listening, meaning with a little box with an antenna and a digital display on it, and you can tune a dial, and people that like using a computer for their shortwave radio listening. But it has nothing to do with the internet, and it is a radio. So that's why I think an SDR is as good of a radio and is a radio for shortwave listening as much as anything else. It's just a different type of radio, works differently, needs a computer for you to work it out, but it's still a radio. And that's all I wanted to say and give my honest opinion. Now let the debate rage in this channel and if you have a comment about why you think that's not shortwave radio and why you think it is shortwave radio <laughs> just leave it there let's keep it to a uh, healthy debate you know nobody um, wanting to rip someone else heads off just you know a clean install a, a clean comment I want you know if you post something and start attacking someone I'll you know delete the comment and I'll even ban you from the channel I want something clean um, I think we can all talk about what we think is a radio in a very uh, civilized manner so uh, I hope we get a nice little debate here <laughs>